Panda in fifth gear or sixth if you've got a six speed box and there is Nels that's Zonino who is about to be lapped by the second car which is the race leader Jacques Lafitte then behind him is Nelson Piquet that's Piquet on the right and on the left is Gilles Villeneuve in fourth position so Ligier leads Brabham leads Ferrari the Ferrari now you'll notice seems to close up on the infield section and then lose out on the fast section of the circuit we're now going into the infield and Jacques Lafitte is passing Zunino who moves over and lets him through now is Zunino similarly going to let his teammate Nelson Piquet and Gilles Villeneuve through it looks like it because Zunino was moving over there he goes that's Lafitte away in the lead building a, a, a very despondent depressed dejected Carlos Reutemann who wanted so much to do well in front of his home crowd out of the first race that he's driven in in the Saudi Saudi Leyland car the battle for second position Piquet Ooh, and, and Villeneuve the, and Villeneuve, the, Villeneuve off. gone off he's just made a little mistake at the at the S uh, chicane there uh, but I don't think it's lost him any ground he held the car nice and straight over the grass but again of course he may have he may have got a bit of grass in his radiators only time can tell we see that that's his second excursion he's been off uh, on the first half of that same place uh, on the first lap of the race and that means that Nelson Piquet there in second position has been able to invest Jones and Nelson Piquet has been able to increase the gap over himself and the new third place man Villeneuve in the new Ferrari number two very low built car it's different from last year's T4 this is the T5 Piquet goes through Villeneuve goes through and Jones right with Villeneuve Alan Jones is fighting back He's closed up to the battle for second between Villeneuve and Piquet. He's right now almost on the rear wing of Gilles Villeneuve. Well, it's really the battle for the lead as well, Murray, because Lafitte is only two or possibly three seconds clear of them in the front, so we've got the four cars backing out, and they're all closing on, on Lafitte. Look at this. The flat 12 Ferrari of the young French-Canadian Gilles Villeneuve the V8 Cosworth powered car of Alan Jones and Jones is gaining on Villeneuve the Saudi Leyland car is quicker than the Ferrari he's right with Villeneuve who is behind Piquet yeah Jones is getting the toe down the straight he's going to pull out and I reckon he's going to do Villeneuve now but Villeneuve will fight for sure because he's the last man to give up in the situation Jones is through on the braking and Villeneuve's having a go back at him Jones but did it though but Jones holds the position so Alan Jones upper place and now pulling away yes well Jones is uh, Villeneuve's return stab there cost him a bit of time here we have it in replay you'll see that uh, Jones gets through Villeneuve makes a bit of a mess of it afterwards it's cost him a bit of a gap which gives Jones the cushions he needs but Jones has wasted it look at the main picture Jones has spun there he got onto the marbles and he's wasted it, which was a very stupid mistake, and most unlike Alan Jones, who's normally so steady, he knows it's slippery there, and, he, and Villeneuve, by his mistake, had given him enough room to take the pressure off where he could have tiptoed round the difficult, the tricky bits, and set about building the lead later. So, Gilles Villeneuve up to third position, Alan Jones there, down to fourth position, and now he's got the fight all over again. Alan Jones is really having a race of variables. He's led, and now he is down again to fourth position. There is Villeneuve passing Clay Regazzoni in the Unipart car as Villeneuve now goes up alongside and pass Clay Regazzoni. So, Villeneuve third, Alan Jones, and there is Nelson Piquet through in second position. The race leader still, Jacques Lafitte, in the Ligier Cosworth car. Villeneuve, and Jones is past Regazzoni. So the second and third men are about 20 lengths away from each other. Villeneuve on the right. And Jones in the Saudi Williams, really challenging. Now he's got to pull back. And look, he is pulling back. You can see that the Saudi Leyland car is visibly gaining on the Ferrari. There is Piquet. Behind him, Villeneuve. Behind him, Alan Jones. Then Clay Rigazzoni, who has been lapped. Jones now right with the Ferrari. Soon he can start to challenge and try and take that place. Yes, Villeneuve does have a serious tactical problem uh, for the race here. As I was saying before, he's very quick through the... Oh, and Villeneuve's now made a mistake. Villeneuve's gone off at the S and he's let Jones slip by, but I think he held it okay. Yes, he did. He's back on the track. 
That's how hard they're pressing each other. Villeneuve makes a mistake. Alan Jones benefits from it, and he's really rolling the car very gently round that twisty section there, because that's where the track is breaking up, that's where he has had trouble, and that's where he intends to have no trouble again. And that's Emerson Fittipaldi, double ex-world champion, out of the race. Yes, Villeneuve's tactical problem is simply that by being quick on the infield, which is the area which you can't overtake on the circuit, he's stuck as Alan Jones having a go at PK now. Alan Jones in third position, Piquet in second, Villeneuve behind them in fourth position and Jones right now with Piquet and Villeneuve just behind Alan Jones, terrific stuff for second place, young Nelson Piquet in only his second full season of Grand Prix racing is going to be taken or is he by Alan Jones. See how they're tiptoeing through the slippery bit, Jones gets the power down better, now Jones got out of the slippery bit there and he's just slipped past him with better traction and of taking a better line, getting the, onto the grippy bit better than Piquet did, who under pressure went a little bit wide. Half distance, lap 26 out of 53, Carlos Reutemann looking for a clear track to cross it, which he does, and go despondently back to the pits. And so, lap 26, Jacques Lafitte leads to the Ligier. There is Alan Jones, second. Nelson Piquet, third. The Ferrari of Villeneuve, fourth. The Ferrari of Schechter, fifth. And Riccardo Patrese, the Italian driver in the Arrows, in sixth position. There's so much excitement going on, I can't get out what Villeneuve's tactical problem is. I'll try again. The problem is that he's not slow on the fast part of the circuit, which is where all the overtaking happens. So that means that on the infield where he's quick and picks up, he can't overtake. On the, on the fast bit of the circuit, everybody swarms past him fairly easily, and of course he can't get past them, so he has got a bit of a problem, and he needs always to be passed just for the infield section to get away then. Jacques Lafitte has a problem too, and there it is, behind him, Alan Jones, behind him, Piquet, behind him, Villeneuve, and they are all, especially Alan Jones, gaining on the race leader, Jacques Lafitte. This is the battle for third, it's Piquet and Villeneuve, Brabham and Ferrari. And Villeneuve goes off, uh, Piquet goes off, and Villeneuve gains on him. Now, he is going to be rattled, and yes, Villeneuve Piquet, goes through. No, Villeneuve's overdone it. Look, it's on the slippery bit. Piquet fought back. He forced Villeneuve to lock up. This is really too exciting for me. I can't handle this. So, Jacques Lafitte is leading. Alan Jones is in second place. Jones has gone wide. There we are. Jones on the slippery bit again. If you look carefully at the track, you'll notice that we've got the, that on the line, the surface looks a bit clean and shiny, and off it, it's very gritty and gravelly. There's the replay. There is the leader, Jacques Lafitte. Second place, Alan Jones. Third place, Villeneuve. And 26, Jacques Lafitte in the Ligier Cosworth leads the Argentine Grand Prix of 1980 as he did in 1979 and in 1979 he won. See once again there, Villeneuve got the better traction and he just slipped by Piquet coming out on, uh, Piquet stuck on the marbles again so now, and Piquet in fact has dropped right back so we don't quite know what's happened to Piquet. Well look at Alan Jones because Alan Jones is undoubtedly gaining on the flying Jacques Lafitte number 26 the 36-year-old Frenchman from Plagny, some 11 years in racing. Villeneuve there in the new T5 Ferrari in third position. Jones ahead of him. Jones, who has gone from first down to fourth, up to third, back to fourth, and is now in second position, catching Jacques Lafitte. Villeneuve we are looking at in the Ferrari. This is the fastest part of the course. There is the leader, Jacques Lafitte. Now watch Alan Jones in the Saudi Leyland car. Yes, uh, Lafitte's days are beginning to look a bit numbered because uh, both uh, Jones and Villeneuve are definitely quicker than him overall on the lap and they've now got a clear run at him and I don't think they're going to make much mistake this time. There you can see the track breaking up. If you look carefully at the, at the stripes on the surface on the line where the two wheels have, uh, have grooved the track and all the, uh, you can see the dust and rubbish and marbles off the line and if they put a wheel onto that, they are, it's just like trying to uh, go racing up your gravel drive. The man walking in was Ricardo Patrese, who was in sixth place and is now out of the race. And this is the battle for the lead. Alan Jones, big in the mirrors of Jacques Lafitte's Ligier. Jones must feel very confident because although he has made mistakes, although he has been into the pits, he has come up from fourth to second place. Villeneuve just behind him, there's the Ferrari. That's the third place man. And here is Lafitte and Jones again. And is this going to be the point where Alan Jones takes the lead or is Lafitte going to hold it? 
Well, Jones is going to try and tow past him on the big straight. They'll go past the pits now, start the new lap, go through the S, and Jones will be trying to get himself about maybe six or seven car lengths behind the feet so that he can go up the straight, getting closer and closer with the help of the tow, go through the loop without being falling all, to, all over the top of the feet and then tow past him down the return half of the main straight into the infield section and get a, try and get away there. Mark Sura, the Swiss driver, his first drive in the ATS out of the Argentine Grand Prix, but all eyes and there are several hundred thousand people watching, watching this, Lafitte and Jones. Yes, Jones was in the perfect position, he started about six or seven lengths behind uh, Lafitte, he's towed close and close, so they've come out of the loop and now he's got the run up and he will, he will for sure sweep past Jack Lafitte on the straight now, there he goes pulled out and it's uh, all easy for him because he got his judgment just right in the starting place on the straight. And watch the way the cars are bouncing on the suspension as they go down the straight. That's because the ground effects, the skirts on the side of the car, are breaking traction. The car goes up and then it regains the traction. It goes down again and Alan Jones leads. Watch this again. Jones out of Lafitte's slipstream taking the lead and back again into first position, the place that he lost on the 17th lap. And now on lap 30, Alan Jones is on his way to his sixth Grand Prix victory, if the car lasts. And Gilles Villeneuve, behind the blue and white Ligier, is challenging Jacques Lafitte for second position. Yes, you see how quick Villeneuve is through the infield section. He's caught up a huge amount on Lafitte. He's challenging him hard, but I... He can't overtake here unless Lafitte makes a mistake. And Lafitte's been driving an extremely steady and clean race. He's really driving very well indeed, and he's not about to make a mistake, I don't think. Now, you see, we're coming out to the faster part of the circuit, and I suspect that when they get through the fast S, Lafitte will pull away a bit from Villeneuve, and Villeneuve will then be out of range for the overtaking. Jacques Lafitte second, Villeneuve third, Piquet fourth, Schecter fifth, and Kiki Rosberg now in sixth position. The Ligier, there is the Saudi Leyland of Alan Jones. Yes, here we come. You see through the fast fifth gear S there, Lafitte's pulled out a large amount, and quite frankly, Villeneuve is now too far behind him to pick up the toe. He won't be able to pass him this lap. This means Lafitte, he'll catch him all up in the infield. The same thing's going to happen, and this is the tactical problem that Villeneuve has got. And of course, with Vill Villeneuve is uh, forceful enough without having a tactical problem like this. It's, I mean, it's like red rag to a bull for somebody like Villeneuve. Jones, Lafitte, Villeneuve, and Lafitte seems to be holding on to Alan Jones as they, and out comes his hand. Villeneuve's, Lafitte's engine has blown, the Ligier is out and through into second position, the roadblock removed, goes Gilles Villeneuve, and there is the French-Canadian, Jacques Lafitte, cruel luck, number 26, with smoke out of the back of the car, with the pressure cap blowing off from the tank, great plume of steam, Jacques Lafitte, who did so well last year here and in Brazil, is out of the race. Jones leads, Villeneuve is in second place, and what a marvellous position for an interview, but I don't <laughs> think they're going to get one. Yes, uh, uh, Lafitte there looks like the classic overheating problem, quite frankly, looked like a blown piston, there's a lot of steam coming out of the thing in, in the water system. Clay Regazzoni into the pits in the Unipart Ensign for the second time this race and it looks as though he is out of it. Alan Jones on his way. Now Villeneuve behind him. Can the French Canadian do anything about it? It looks as though Alan Jones is now starting a full clear lap. Yes, oh yes, and we've got, it we, we looks as if we've got this caption, so I'll try and talk you round it. Follow the ball, it, it's a bit, I'm afraid the ball driver's a bit behind. That's Alan Jones going through the uh, very fast S there. That's taken in fifth gear out of six if you've got it. They now, he now accelerates into top gear and full speed up to between 175, 180 miles an hour, where he goes into this loop here absolutely flat out. If his car's all right, he doesn't lift at all, but it's absolutely on the limit. He's doing, as I say, between 175 and 180. He's coming through the second half of the loop, and now he'll come back down. Yes, there he is, coming up the straight. I'm afraid the, the guy driving the ball on the loop down in Argentina there is uh, a bit out of sync with Alan Jones' exact position, but you'll have to try and follow it your best. He comes down the long straight. This is where the overtaking pl takes place with a good toe. And he then breaks down for quite a fast fourth gear S where we've got a lot of track breaking from. There's the, the messiness on the track.